Now to a developing story, a house explosion on the southeast side. Center Point workers were back in that neighborhood today, 24 hours later, looking into the cause of that blast right there. Channel 2's Taisha Walker is live tonight outside of the home on Doulton Drive near Belfort. And Taisha, the homeowners have lived in that house for decades. Five decades, 51 years that family lived in the home right behind me, which now you can see reduced to rubble. The neighbor to the right, which also who also had her home damaged, moved into the neighborhood around the same time tonight. Center Point Energy continues to work on the actual cause of this explosion. Center Point Energy crew spent much of the day trying to figure out the source of Sunday morning's explosion. Mm -hmm. The blast knocked the Dalton Drive home off of its foundation. It's like this blue. Catching the carport on fire, which quickly spread to the neighboring home. None of the homeowners had insurance. 81 years old, and I'm out on the street looking for someone to stay. It's nothing short of a miracle that Delover Burns is talking to us today. At the time of the explosion, he was sitting inside of his car in his driveway. I couldn't get it started fast. By that time, stuff started flying. His wife, Jewel, was next door at the neighbors, having complained about a strong smell of gas. Burns says they called Center Point Energy Sunday morning about the smell. I said, honey, that kid is sure look foggy looking in the house. I smell gas. Call the gas company. Ten minutes to nine. But by the time crews arrived around noon, the house the couple raised their six children was gone. It's gone. Several other homes were also damaged by the impact. Burns says at 81, he plans to rebuild, no matter how long it takes. I don't like to stay with none of the kids. I'll be by myself while I can be the ruler of the house. <laughs> And Byrne says it was really emotional coming back out here to look at what was his home for more than five decades. He did have a moment of levity in the neighborhood. His wife, Jewel, is known as a stickler for her grass. And if you walk on her grass, you're going to hear it from Jewel. And they joke today saying that Jewel's definitely not happy to see all that debris on her front yard. Reporting live in Southeast Houston, Taisha Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News.